Okay, what is scarier, speaking on video or speaking in public? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the different sides of each equation and which one is scarier for you. So stay tuned. All right, great question. I was asked is what brings up more fear, speaking in public or speaking on video? And look, they both have their different situations that come up with it. Now, I'll start with video. With video, one of the big fears that comes up is that it is out there forever. And so you don't know who is going to be watching it. When you're speaking in public, you can see your audience. You can clearly see them, you can engage with them. But on video, once that video is out there, it's out there forever. A lot of fear can come up around what if I say the wrong thing? And also, you don't know what people are doing or reacting to when they're watching it. So a lot of times that can really bring up a person's inner critic. You know, the fear that they hate me, that I'm not good enough, that you look silly. All these factors can come up when a person is speaking on video. Now, I want to start off before I go too deep into the fears of both sides that speak in public or speak on video are both absolutely essential for any entrepreneur to make a big impact in the world, to get your message out there, to attract your ideal clients. And so when I'm breaking it down, I'm just doing a comparison and sharing what you can do to overcome these fears. But definitely, it's the way to go to build your business. So speaking with video, uh, some of the fears that come up is the other one is that you see yourself. And that can bring up a lot from that inner critic side of not liking the way you look, not liking the way you sound, not liking you know your set, uh, not not liking a lot about yourself. That comes up and it brings up a lot of inner critics. And a lot of times when I'm working with clients, either speaking in public or speaking on video, I show them a video of them speaking and they hate it, they see it, and they have a laundry list of everything they hate about themselves. But then it's actually an opportunity to start looking at what is it that you like about yourself. So a lot of times whenever we're confronted like this, it's an opportunity to grow, it's an opportunity to develop. And so my, my invitation for you is to look at it and go, anytime you're seeing a video up there of yourself, go, what is it that I like? So that's a big fear is people don't like how they look and it can bring up a lot of that inner critic when you're speaking on video. Another one that comes up with video is that there's no audience, there's no interaction. So it's just you speaking to a, a camera, to a phone. And so you're not sure how are the audience receiving it there's no engagement, you can't feed off the energy. And that's one thing that public speaking definitely has, that video doesn't, is that live environment where you can actually interact, you can engage, you can feed off the energy, you can see what lands and what doesn't land and adjust your content based on that. And so it's easier to read the room and it's actually impossible to read the room when you're speaking on video. So that's a big thing too is, I remember when I started doing videos, oh my gosh, I thought that I was sitting there, I had no business, I had a blog, and I'm sitting there thinking, have I lost my mind? <laughs> like, have I gone crazy? Is that what insanity feels like where I'm sitting here talking to this inanimate object and thinking that people are gonna watch it? And so that it's a big mental hurdle. It was for me to get past. But the other thing too is when you can when you can connect with it and actually start seeing that it's a portal to connect with your ideal clients, that becomes a lot easier. So that's a big one too. There's no engagement, there's no flow. And video, a lot of times is if you say the wrong thing, you know, a lot of the fears can be will this come back to haunt me? Okay, this comes up a lot. If I put a video out there and I, I even change my mind, if I change my mind, what's gonna happen? Look, you're allowed to change your mind. There are so many amazing examples of that. Gary Vaynerchuk, he built his whole business first off was talking about hustle, 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 and then he changed his narrative to self-awareness. Nobody holds that against him, but that, at the time, when the hustle era, that's what he believed. And then he got new information and then started changing it, saying that people have different goals, not everybody wants to hustle, and that's okay. So a lot of it is about putting your message out there. It's going to be out there, but give yourself permission to change your mind because a lot of times people stop themselves from putting videos out there because they're afraid of what if I change my mind down the line? Is that going to hurt my credibility? But instead, you can always change your mind. So know that, that's okay. So those are some of the biggest fears that come up with speaking on video. And if you have more, definitely put in the comments. I'd love to hear about your fears around video and confidence and putting yourself out there because it's an essential tool. Now, speaking in public, some of the major fears that come up is you are in front of a crowd. So yes, it can give you an engagement, it can give you energy, but it can also bring up a lot of fear of vulnerability and rejection because you're sitting there and you have these people here 
you might not know what's going on in their mind. You absolutely definitely don't know what's going on in their mind, but you could have your assumptions and that could throw people off. The other thing too is it's it's a crowd. It's what if I say the wrong thing? What if the crowd turns on me? What if I get booed? What if people walk out? A lot of this can happen in a live scenario. You have no control over that. And so that's something to really think about is when you're speaking, it's that it's live, it's a performance, people are going to react with it, they're not. And so while it can give you energy, that crowd, it's definitely a wild card. It's a, there's a lot of uncertainty there. And so that's something to look at. You know, other fears with speaking in public is that what if I blank out? <laughs> with video, you can blank out, you can cut the video, <laughs> put a jump cut in there, go to the next one. But in public, you have to roll with it. And so that's a big one too. It's like, what if you blank out? You, there's no do-overs, there's no retakes. You gotta move forward with it. And so that's something that public speaking has that video doesn't. Now, the other piece too is that you're able to really go up and make a deeper connection with people. You know, and that's the thing. When you're in that live audience, you public speaking, the fear, all this rejection can come up, but it's also a place where you can really connect with people and you can, you can ask them, you can interact. And so that's a big one that comes up too, is that you're able to interact with the clients. So there's a, that's another benefit that comes up with it. But with public speaking, the other fear that comes up is if you're not recording it, you don't know if you're getting better. And that could be a fear, that could be a good thing, depending on how you look at it. But a lot of times it's, you wanna look at metrics. That's why I'm a big advocate of recording. Videos, of course, but definitely if you're doing talks, you wanna be able to see that you're getting better. Because a lot of times the fear is you don't know what you said. Maybe when you're speaking, you're in the zone and you're not able to really recall. Like for myself, when I'm doing a talk or a workshop, I don't remember everything I say. I'm in this flow state, I'm just going, I'm sharing information. And so maybe you're like that too. You don't remember what you say or what you didn't say. And that's why when you're recording it, that can be a big tool for you to see it. So that's another anxiety that can come up or another fear with public speaking is that you're not sure what you said. And maybe you're sitting going like, did I say anything crazy? Did I say anything wrong? If you have it on video, you can see it. But if it's speaking and it's not recorded, you can't. So those are some fears that come up with speaking in public. And I'm curious on your opinion, which brings up more fear and what's specifically for you? So public speaking or speaking on video, what brings up more anxiety for you? Put it in the comments below and I'll make sure to create videos that will answer your questions.